Okay, screw it. We're just gonna go into this. No preparation. Click! Uh, okay, so, this chapter. This chapter was a pain in the butt, but luckily, Ephraim225 went and changed things after we had that whole voting debacle and shit where people are like, shall we let Ephraim change his chapter? Um, so here's what's changed, all right? So, Ephraim removed one of those promoted skeleton dudes. He removed two, the, he removed the two iron bow send, like, you know, horse guys, whatever the fuck they're called. And the equipment of the remaining skeleton pre-promotes is just steel weapons. Now, I personally think all I needed to do is just give those two iron bow horse fucks, you know, steel spoons. But details, doesn't fucking matter. Anyway, Arter, as you can see right here, he's going to do his classic wipe the fuck out of these bitches strategy. Oh, look at that. He just doesn't give a fuck. He's getting surrounded and molested by dark magic all over the place. Look at how it all tangles around him, and yet he doesn't give a fuck. He's just like, yeah, that's no damage, and he just explodes them in one hit. They are just pathetic eyeballs, and he is poking them with his light magic tomes. Delicious. Anyway, so, what is my strategy for this chapter? Well, first, let's, let me tell you what my strategy is not. My strategy is not having Garcia go over to the upper right, or anybody going up to the upper right, for that matter. Um, originally, my plan was to, like, there's this skeleton dude over there who has a Zombato. You capture him, and then you, you, ha you have Garcia wipe out all the horse dudes. I decided instead, I'm gonna just focus all my firepower over to the left. Capture some dudes, open all the treasure chests, you know, kill the boss, deal with the super strong enemies, and go to the secret shop to sell my shit, and then get the fuck out. Now, this first bit, most of the enemies here just kind of stand in place. They wait for you to, you know, bait and switch them. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I know I always make it out like a big deal, like, ah, oh, ooh, it's fucking bait and switch. That could, that's against the law. Now, in this scenario, it's fine because you're on a time limit. You're expected to move forward. So the enemy standing still is not necessarily a bad thing. This is kind of the same thing with tactical nonsense where like, you do have a time limit. So you're expected to move forward, so it's not so bad that the enemies stay in place. Though I kinda, just as a general rule, I tend to prefer enemies that do move, so that your, your quote-unquote time limit is not getting overwhelmed by the enemies. But, I can, you know, I don't see mu much problem with either way of doing shit. Now, these Arc Moguls, strangely enough, they're one of the few enemies whose names I actually fully name, like, no, rather. Um, they're pretty strong, like, Arter actually deals less damage to them, even though he has Slayer and they don't. So, so it's actually kind of scary and terrifying that the, fa the fact that they deal so much fucking damage. There's also a good number of horse dudes who have, like, Silver Spoons and Halberds. You want to take the Silver Spoons so that you can sell them because, fuck, nobody's going to be able to use them. Garcia barely uses axes anyway, and Russ doesn't have a chance at using the Silver Spoons. He does have a chance of using the Halberds, but that would require you to use Ross. And Ross fucking sucks, so it's not worth it. Anyway, now for the big thing about this chapter. I hate these fuckers, but luckily I found a proper strategy on how to deal with them. You want to have Garcia get the Zanbato, you want him to have some healing items, and then you just want him to go fucking crazy on these guys. Now my strategy is not perfect by any means. The one I'm using right now is actually not very reliable. Um, but because I didn't feel like restarting the entire chapter just to show a winning run, I decided to just, ah, oh, fuck it, we'll just, we'll just fucking do this strategy and hope it works, and luckily it did. Uh, though it is worth noting that I was recording it and I fucking used rewinds and shit, so, take that as you will. For all I know, my strategy is completely valid. At this point, you know, it's just... The chapter is solved for all intents and purposes. Really, what you want to do with Garcia is you want to put him, like in that choke point over to the right, like, it's a little bit past the chests. You just want to put him there, because the enemies will, like, approach him through that, and they won't think to, like, go around to attack Garcia. Except for a few of them, but I digress. Either way, it controls their numbers and makes them less of a bitch to deal with. Meanwhile, Ross is getting his fucking house schooled on how to wield a fucking axe. God, jeez. Ross just sucks so much cock. Now, it's worth noting that Garcia being on this you know, pillar, it gives him way more, you know, evasion, like 20 more evasion. And in true hit, that turns these 24s into like, uh, 15% chances or something. I'm not sure. I, I didn't do the numbers or anything, but basically all you need to know is that this strategy right here is relatively reliable. Um, 
As for these skeleton dudes, as you can see, I fucking nailed their asses. Um, it, it, I generally recommend that if you're, if you want your best chance at dealing with those skeleton dudes, you want to train up Ardor. You want to train up his ranking in light tomes so that he can use shine because he can't use it initially. Also, it's worth noting that if you attack these uh, horse dudes with the Zombato with Garcia, he conveniently leaves them at just enough health for other dudes to chip in and beat the shit out of them. So, if you don't want Garcia to steal all the EXP, then you can do that. You can just have other dudes chill out. Now, this boss is a fucking nightmare. He's got good stats. He's got a rune sword. What else can you ask for in a boss? This guy just doesn't take anybody's fucking nonsense. And even worse is that he's right next to all these delicious treasure chests where you want to get all this other delicious stuff. Actually, it is worth noting. Um, I never go to the chest in, in the upper path, like the right path. And I checked what they were in Effie Belder, and basically there's three blue gems and one ocean seal in there. So if you want to promote Ross, you could, but the thing is, is that I think Ross is low level, so getting him to promotion level is just a fucking bag of dicks. It's just not worth it, man. So you might be wondering to, to yourself, hey, Marky Joe, you know, all this fucking talk about strategy, and yet you haven't demonstrated to us where the secret shop is. Calm talks the legends of a secret shop. Ooh, Sword Slayer. And yet, for some reason, you have not touched upon it. Well, here's the thing. I'm gonna give you three guesses on where the fuck the, the secret shop is, and the first two don't count. It's pretty obvious. Like, I, I give plenty of kudos for FM225 for making it relatively obvious where the fuck these secret shops are. Um, actually, I might have shown it in the previous video. I'm not sure. Either way, doesn't matter. All right, I, I, I've run out of shit to say, so I'm just gonna tell you, hey, it's in those fucking stairs. That's where the secret shops are, and I believe there are two stairways in this chapter, and both of them have a secret shop, and they both sell the same shit. But, you know, it's, it's not really worth buying their shit, at least in my opinion. Or rather, it might be worth it, but I had just barely enough ch money to clear the chapter anyway, so for me at least it wasn't worth it. I assume if you caught, like, captured more enemies instead of you know, wiping so many of them out like I did, you'd have a bit more stuff to sell and thus more funds to expend. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers and I chose to not have enough money, so I can't beg for more. I'm, I'm not some fucking pauper. I'm not gonna beg for money. The fuck are you talking about? You're all peons. Okay, anyway. So, here's the thing. Every, like, I'd say three or so turns, either another set of, like, pre-promoted skeletons or pre-promoted horse dudes show up. And this is kind of what makes it so difficult. Like, in the previous version of the chapter, because you had slightly more enemies to kill, you had to... And because they were so durable, you had to basically waste all of your firepower just killing them. And by the time you killed one set of enemies, the next one was right up on your fucking ass. So it was really difficult to deal with the chapter before, but now that there's slightly less enemies, and, you know, the there's there's no longer two horse dudes with iron bows, this, this shit is way more manageable. It's still kinda barely manageable, admittedly, because, like, by the end of this chapter, I'm like, oh, shit, uh, there's the second batch of, like, horse dudes, I'd better get the fuck out of here, because, like, I was running out of zombados and shit. Um, but on top of that, I also... I, actually, I think that was it. Yeah, okay, so the Zombot is gone. Now I got myself a Halberd, and that's bad because I no longer have Weapon Triangle Advantage. So all these guys are very likely to kill me. Oh, no, he dodged. How dare he? See, Garcia could have bitten the dust with that shit, Mark. How careless of you. Holy crap. I am surprised I'm talking this much during this video. Um, anyway, you already know what's in the other chest because you've seen them. The, the top left ones just have a Blue Gem and a Sword Slayer. And the other stuff you already saw, or I explained it. So there you go. So bibbidi bam. I want to keep that steel spoon that I just sold because you know it would allow Ross to deal more damage and shit. But unfortunately, I I was just shy of having the required amount of money in order to end the chapter. So I had to sell that steel spoon because I wasn't willing to sell anything else except for that thing. So next up is the moment of truth. The part where, well, firstly, Garcia just fucking rocked those guys' worlds, and oh shit, there's a there's a thief here. 
So, yeah, this thief, he tries to steal the chest, I assume, and then he runs off, I assume. But because, as you can see, I'm he's, he's just straight up up in his pits of horse ass, loot ass, and priest ass, you know? I mean, that's kind of typical, you know? Little boys and, and priests. All right, you know what? I'm gonna stop where, where I'm ahead. Anyway, the chapter's done. Yay! Natasha, of course we did it, Natasha. Oh, fat shark. Damn. All right, fair enough. Anyway, that's it. Thank you all. Chapter three and the finale, arguably, of Rage Fest 5. Aside from Mark's More Precious, which is the actual finale. All right, either way, bye. These ambush bombs just don't do it for me.